Welcome to the, today's vlog. Um, and Patches are going on a date today. Are we gonna go on a date? Yeah, we can go work. Yeah. Um, I got this little hair walk wagon. Um, so I'm gonna get him all ready. I need to brush him. Um, and I'm gonna put on his little bow ties. Yes. I'm wearing. I don't know if you can see, but I'm wearing a dress. That was my arm popping. <laughs> um, but anyway. So I'm wearing a dress today. Yeah. Hi. So I'm gonna here, you me just missed. Get it. So I'm gonna brush him and get him all ready for our date. And then it'll be time to go, huh? Yeah. Say so get ready, mom. Get going. Oh yawn. <laughs> He's tired, he just woke up. <laughs> yeah. Sweet boy. Okay, let's get your brush. Oh, so we're all ready for our date. Are you ready for our date? I don't know how much footage I'm going to get because um, we're going to be in a movie and obviously I'm not going to be able to film much in there. But I'll probably try and get some footage and it might be dark because movie theaters are dark. So you have to live with that. But he's waiting for my friend. <laughs> I can tell because he's watching the door. <laughs> Is she here? No, she's not here. But anyway, so yes, we're all ready for our date. He's got his little bow tie on, it's so cute! And I got a dress on! So we're all ready. We're all ready. <laughs> Silly boy. Probably give movie theater tips throughout this video too. Um, I always bring a mat for him, and that's because movie theater floors. Actually, the one we go to is pretty clean, but it's just more comfortable than him laying on the carpet, you know, for two and a half hours or however long. So. I like to bring his mat, um, which his mat is just always a blanket. It doesn't even matter which blanket. <laughs> if it's a blanket, it's his mat to him. Um, so, yeah, so I always like to bring a mat. Um, I don't bring one everywhere we go. Like, <laughs> I've heard some handlers bring a mat, like, every time they go to the mall or to lunch and things. We don't do that. We just bring it when we go places I know it will be a long time, like movie theaters or um, I'll bring one to, like, doctor appointments things like that where I know we'll be a while. Um, so he's finishing up eating before we get going. He always eats before we leave the house. He doesn't like to eat breakfast, but as soon as I leash him up, he's like, okay, I'm hungry now. So I'll probably get him another scoop of food in a minute because <laughs> it looks like he's done. You want more food? I'll get you more. Okay. Giving him some dog kibble. Is this is a good boy. It's gonna be so hard to carry our concessions with them. Oh, I think I just um wrinkled up my movie ticket phone accident. <laughs> um Whoopsies. <laughs> he was gonna pick them up for me, but I want him to because he'll accidentally get them all wet. Um, but yeah, so it's gonna be hard to carry our concessions and his mat, but we're gonna get it. So we'll get it. And we'll figure it out, huh, Patches? Yes, sir. Time's long. I'm glad we got here early. The concession. Um, my other tip is always get a handicap spot. At my movie theater, they assign seats now, which they used to not. Um, but I always uh, get a handicap spot because you can't fit under the seats here because they're recliners now, so there's, they want to be safe. Uh, and then he can't sit in the aisle, so handicap spot is easiest for us to maneuver this boy. So we have D1. So. Plus, I don't have to walk upstairs, which is nice too. But, or downstairs. <laughs>
Okay, exit. Find the exit. Where's the exit? Wait, so? So, good boy. Look at that interesting game. Oh, it's candy. Okay, exit. Time the exit. Exit. Good boy, there's the exit. I'm going to film this while he's sleeping, so we're back now from the movie, we saw Five Feet Apart, I don't know if I ever said that in this movie, in this video, um, it was really pretty good, <sighs> we're both tired now as you can see, so we did good as always, um, so yeah, those are my, kind of my tips for taking a sort of sex in the movie theater, is one, bring a mat or something comfortable for them to lay on, and two, um, if your movie theater assigns seats like mine does, then sit in a handicapped spot so there's room for the dog. Um, because there's no other room <laughs> without that, so. Um, yeah. So, um, if you see an action movie, you might want to make sure they do have headphones. I don't typically use headphones on him, like some handlers. Just because, um, I don't see action movies where there's, like, guns going off or, um, anything like that. I, you know, or, like, explosions or anything. It's always just really calm movies, like, five feet apart. <laughs> Although I did see they're making a, um, Dog's Purpose number two, and I'm excited about that. I loved the first one. Um, I even saw the first one in theaters, so it's coming out in May, I would think. And so we're probably going to go see that one, which he'll love, because he loves dog movies. He literally just sits and watches them. It's so cute. But he did good at the movie theater. Um, yeah, I gave him a belly rub towards the end, because he wanted one. He turned over. He's exhausted now, as you can see. Um, he found me the exit like a good boy. It's like a maze back there. I wish I would have showed it when I was filming him find the exit, but... I typically just point my camera at him because I don't want to get anyone's faces in it who don't want to be in the video, <laughs> so that's how come I don't typically show where I'm going. I kind of wish I would have though because it's like a maze in there, so when you found him, when you saw him finding me the exit, he had to actually like find me the exit because it's like a maze back there and our theater was all the way in the back, so he really had to find it, but he remembered right where it was. He's really good at that, so I'm proud of him. He's really good at finding things. He loves to find things and to retrieve things, and I think his favorite tasks are when he gets to find me something like a chair or an exit, or when he gets to retrieve me things like my medicine or water. <laughs> um, my phone says 15%, darn it. So I'll probably edit this later. But yeah, so this is probably going to be really short and simple, but that's what I take for movie theater and treats. I always bring... um. Mostly dog food, that way I can just kind of, I mean, he didn't really eat a big breakfast anyway, and so I just kind of hand feed him there and give him a reward and a little something to do, because it is a long time to, for a dog to sit there two and a half hours or three hours, so um, it is a long time for them. Um, especially a young dog like Patches, he's a really good service dog, he's got patience, he's developed finally, but he's only two and a half, so he's still very much a puppy and a puppy brain sometimes, so it's hard for him to just sit there and be still for that long of a time. Um, I think the longest thing we do is go to the movies, <laughs> because everything else is only like an hour to an hour and a half, so, um, but he has to sit there and be calm, and so, um, that's the longest thing he has to do, which he does great, but it's just good for me to have food with me so I can give him something to do, um, while we're sitting there, um, so yeah, those I guess would be my advice. Also, if you um, never took your dog there and you notice they're getting antsy, then uh, just plan to not leave the movie, but maybe get up and walk them up and down the hall a couple of times and then go back to the movie so that way they can get it out. 
Um, if you're taking your dog to the movie for the first time, your service dog to the movie for the first time, or service dog in training, if your state recognizes them like mine does, um, then I would recommend just planning that you may have to leave early, or you may have to get up and exercise them a little bit. Um, and so, today I noticed he was getting a little antsy towards the end of the movie. He was doing really good, but he was just getting a little antsy. Um, and after drinking soda, I really needed to go to the bathroom anyway. Um, so I just got up and went to the bathroom, um, and then by the time we got back, he was settled down again, ready to lay down and watch the movie again. So if you notice your dogs, um, and that was the first time, normally he doesn't get antsy during the movie, but I could just tell he needed to stretch his legs, but he also didn't get to go to the park this morning, so that was probably part of it. <laughs> If you go for the first time, you'll want to take them to the park and exercise them so they're tired the entire time and just want to sleep. Um, this is his third time, so I didn't really... And he went one other time without the park and did fine, but he just towards the end he was getting antsy. But we had literally just woken up like an hour before, so... Um, and so, because of that, I think he just... Um, because we just had woken up, um, I did take him on a walk this morning, but... I think it's just how the timeline of everything happening, that towards the end he was just ready to get up and start his day. But now as you can see, he's exhausted from the movie. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, so I got up and I walked him down the hall a little bit, um, and then we went back to the movie. I just left it like a part where I'm like, okay, I don't think anything's going to happen for a few minutes, <laughs> and so we could get up and leave for a minute. Um, so if you're thinking of going, don't be frustrated if you do end up having to leave early or... Um, having to miss a part of the movie because your dog needs to exercise. That is part of having a service like and training one, um, especially if it's your dog's first, second, or even third time to the movie where it's still really fresh and new. Um, they may not, um, you know, it's a different environment. There's a lot of sounds. There's a lot of popcorn everywhere. Um, the lights are dim. So there's just a lot of different things about it that your dog might need to just be for a minute and then come back and recollect himself. So don't be frustrated if you end up having to do that. Um, I know sometimes that is frustrating if you <laughs> don't have money for the movie all the time and you finally get a little money and go with your dog. But that's part of training and having a service dog with you is you do need to have their needs met. And sometimes that means missing a part of the movie to take them out potty or to give them a minute for a break. Um, sometimes that just means letting them recollect themselves. Um, so after we got back, after we only walked up and down the hall twice, so after we got back, he was fine. He was ready to focus again. And he did good. I just He would just sit up, and I could just tell that he needed to go exercise a little bit. Um, so when we got back, he chinned me the rest of the time, which I don't mind if he sits or lays down or stands, honestly. Um, I don't really have him sit or down, but I, or chin. Um, but... Because it's um, such a long time for him to just be laying there. I don't mind if he does whatever's comfortable as long as he's out of the way. Um, I don't care what he does as long as it's comfortable for him. Um, and, like, and how he wants it. Normally I have him sit or down. I don't normally let him stand, just stand there. Um, normally he's either sitting or down. Or I'll let him do chin, which he gets to stand. Um, or I'll let him stand up and stretch him, you know, stretch. And so... Um, I'm not too strict with that, especially since I do sit in the handicap spot. There's plenty of room for him to just kind of be relaxed and comfortable, um, which is important at a movie where, you know, it's a long, but anyway, my phone's at 9% and this is already eight minutes long. Gosh, I'm just rambling on today. Whew, so we're tired. Um, I'm probably going to edit this later after I uh, bleh, charge up my phone a little bit. So those would be my advice for taking a service dog to the movie theaters. Um, and just, of course, see how they do. Um, I'm thankful Patches, um, because of what his breeder did with biosensory training, he's never really had, like, a fear period or anything. So he's never been, like, scared of the movie theater or, like, like they popped balloons on it and it made a really loud pop and I jumped, but he was fine. Like, he's never been noise sensitive or anything and if your dog's noise sensitive too you might want headphones for them there if like loud noises bother them but again with patches that doesn't happen and since I don't go see action movies there's really no point in having headphones on him 
if I saw movies with like, oh, sweet baby, <laughs> yes, sweet baby, oh, the video, if I saw movies with like, um, you know, loud explosions and things like that, I might reconsider putting headphones on him. But since we don't see any, like, scary movies or movies where loud things are really going to happen, you know, like, five feet apart, there's nothing loud in it except for the balloon popping. That was the only, like, loud part <laughs> that was, like, really loud. <laughs> so, um, or, like, when we saw Mary Poppins, there's really no loud parts. And so, um, so we don't really worry too much about that. But if you saw action movies, then you would want to have headphones or there were... If there are a lot of, like, noises happening, like, um, explosions, like, yes, service dogs should be able to handle it and all. Um, but that doesn't always mean it's good for their ears, even if it doesn't seem to affect them. Loud noises, um, like, explosions and stuff, you would want to make sure your dog had. Well, this is going to be a long video. It's already ten minutes long, and this just this clip. But anyway, you just want to make sure your dog had headphones for those, even if they don't seem bothered by the noise. Um, if you saw... Again, action movies where loud things were going to happen, you'd want to make sure their ears were protected because it's not safe for them to hear those loud noises. But since I don't really go to any loud movies, um, I mean, really it doesn't matter. Um, since the movie theater is so big and stuff, I feel like it's not that loud. <laughs> I mean, I feel like just my TV turned up is probably as loud as a movie theater, if not louder, just because we have... A smaller space than the sound is getting to and so it bounces off more walls making it louder so I don't know if this makes sense if you can't if you can't tell by the way I'm talking I'm exhausted and so y'all know when I'm exhausted I don't really necessarily say things right but this is already 11 minutes Ugh, just rambling I just feel like talking today I guess but my phone's at six percent so I guess I'll let you guys go um we're exhausted after the movie to say the least that was a lot for us but we did it I went by myself so I was proud of that Without patches, I definitely couldn't have gone to the movie theater by myself. This is the second time we went by ourselves, but still. <laughs> I'm just so proud of how far he's come. Um, and all the things. So, we're tired. Maybe we'll take a nap. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, so please like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys. I'm depending on your son to pull the family through. My son is all left.